Hello again. In this video we are going back to the workshop and finish up the motor mount for the sail drive. As you may know this is a video series of uh, making an electric motor for my sailboat and uh, I suggest you push the subscribe button right now so you can catch up the videos that are coming later in this series. Later I think I will do a wrap up video where I go through every part that is uh, needed for this conversion. But now let's head up to the workshop and see what's going on there. So welcome again into this workshop. Uh, it's been a few weeks since the last video and uh, now we're back in here and uh, we're trying today to build actually something. Uh, I have already put up some test wiring of this motor controller. We're maybe gonna try this out and uh, let's see what we got. So since the last video you saw me drawing this thing and now it's here. So this middle part is the pipe we cut last time and uh, it has been machined much uh, thinner and there's this hole that we can see what's going on inside. Uh, and these flanges, they're being laser cut from steel and uh, just tag welded here and uh, it's splendid enough to keep this in shape. <coughs> and uh, here we have the, the motor mount and the sail drive. And this part now will be like this in here. Uh, I have to do some things for these holes so we can put the screws in flush with this this surface and uh, right now my uncle is over there and uh, doing magic for this uh, axle that will be here so we are going to shorten it a bit and make it a little narrower so it will fit in this 20 millimeter coupler and uh, if we take this part to this motor of this other flange will fit in here and the screws will attach it to this motor we will put some uh, three millimeter uh, washers between there. Okay, let's go and see the modification of that axle. We took 20 millimeters off and uh, now we're next we are going to take a little off from here so that it's a 20 millimeter axle. These are the decimals of a millimeter.
yeah. Still it will snug. Let's let it uh, cool down a little. So it might fit. Well, just. Point one millimeter, too big. Yep. Just one more round. Last ten of a millimeter away. I would say this is a perfect fit. So now I'm going to mark up this uh, screw and make a taper around this hole for this one and uh, that one. So, motor is mounted. Flop. The motor is officially mounted. Not into this one, but anyway. The coupling is in place. And it fits. Woohoo! So now we made holes for the motor mount and next we'll make a thread in these with that. No, that's not a threader, that's
Okay, now we have threaded holes. Now let's be excited. So here we have it, it's ready to rock, I would say. So now we have the screws threaded into this and uh, they're on the place and now it's just in place. Next we are gonna test it if we can and uh, let's see if it vibrates or something. Looking quite good. Okay, now we have 48 volts here, and uh, next I have to check orientation of these cables, how they connect into these, I don't remember it. I have to check it, and uh, then we just connect these to, to the batteries, and then we should be okay. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> We have a power. And it's quite silent, even though there is no oils down there. It works! Yep, it's very solid, nothing's really crumbling, it's not moving, it's not vibrating. There is no oils in here just yet, so it keeps some noise, but otherwise looking very good. I'm quite pleased guy right now. Okay, everything is done now. Uh, the mechanical side works. It's very solid and sturdy. The electrical side works. It's tested. Uh, now we're going to dismantle this and uh, take these parts for surfacing prep or whatever, maybe painting, and uh, change the screws to stainless ones. And uh, that's about it. And next step is uh, later in this spring to bring all this in the boat and on its place and uh, let's see what happens there. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm really excited that we got it all working and uh, I think in the next video I will <coughs> take apart this sail drive unit and see what's inside here. There's some modifications needed still for this. Uh, most of all, uh, getting rid of these water inlet holes here. And I need a proper sealant for this prop shaft as well. But that's it and push the thumbs up and ask anything if you, if you want. Uh, I try to answer as best as I can. Bye.